In the last episode, we already learned about how to delete a particular information from ROM database. In this video here, I'm going to show you how to update a particular information in a ROM database. So the first step, we need to add an appropriate method inside the data access object class. So open data access object class. So here we have three methods, one for add user, second for read information, third one for delete information. Now here I'm going to add another method for update a particular user. So here the alternative is void. I name it as update user. So here we need one parameter, it is an object of user. So here we are going to perform the update operation based on the primary key. So this method perform a database updation. So you have it to use the annotation update. Okay. So now here I am going to create a separate fragment for perform the database updation. So create a new fragment. I name it as update fragment. So here the fragment is created. Now here I am going to place the needed user interface for perform the updation. So here I place the needed user interface for performing a particular user updation. So here we are going to perform the user updation based on the user ID. And here we have three edit text ID, name, email, and we have a button called to update. So now uh, we need to uh, start this fragment from the home fragment so open the home fragment open the home fragment class file so when user click the update button we have to start the new fragment okay so go to the home, fr home fragment so here add one more button so bm update now initialize that button so bn update equal to view dot find the view by id or dot id bn update user so bn update dot set on click listener into this now specify the for the condition So if the button is the update button, so bn update user, we have to display the update fragment. So new update fragment. Okay. So now we can close the home fragment class file and layout. This is the class file. Okay. So now we can perform the user updation. So within this fragment, uh, we need to declare some variables and we have to initialize that variables. So here I <coughs> add the needed uh, variables and initialize that variable. Here I create three edit text, user ID, username, user email, and here is the update button. And here I initialize all that variables. Now we can perform the user updation. So first we can create a quick listener for the button implement the callback method okay so first thing uh, we have to get the information from the user so first one is id uh, it is it is an integer so convert that one into integer uh, user id dot get the text now get the name username dot uh, now get the email user email okay so here we get all the information from the user now we can perform the database updation so the same thing create an object of user class Now call the setter methods. Now set the property of the subject by calling the setter method setter id. First one is id. Now call the second setter method set name. Uh, set email, pass email. 
okay so now we can perform the user updation so main activity dot my app database get the database object and call the corresponding method here the method is update user and pass the object so here we perform the uh, database updation display some information to the user user updated now display it okay so at the same time we can reset all that variables so user id dot set text uh, username dot set text user email dot set text okay <clears throat> so now we can test this application so now run it Uh, now the application available on this virtual device so try to update a user yeah it's working so before going to update now here we have only one user now i try to add another user 125 the name is thomas specify an email for him thomas123 at abc.com and save so now the user successfully saved we can view the user here is the new user so now i'm going to update the user with id 125 current currently his name is thomas and this is his email so now i try to update it uh, his id is 125 so update that particular user his id is 125 i'm going to change his name into rupesh now update the email address rubesh123 at gmail.com this is not a valid email <laughs> okay and try to update it so it shows the user successfully updated so we can check it view users so for the id 125 we successfully update name and email so this is how we perform database updation on room database in android for getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.